Is there any possibility that the seven Earth-like planets can host alien life? If there is, the James Webb Telescope will look for evidence of extraterrestrial life on these seven Earth-like planets. Five years ago, the TRAPPIST-1 system made headlines around the world because of its peculiar planetary system. Hello everyone, welcome back to Beyond Unknown, where we bring you the most recent news about the James Webb Telescope and how it will prove the existence of these seven Earth-like planets. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our amazing videos, and let's begin. What exactly is TRAPPIST-1? Astronomers had discovered a family of seven Earth-sized planets orbiting a red dwarf star called TRAPPIST-1. The discovery was widely reported in the media. On February 22, 2017, NASA made an announcement on the system. The TRAPPIST-1 system is one of the most researched planetary systems after our own solar system. It is located approximately 40 light-years distant from Earth and has seven rocky exoplanets that surround the dwarf star in its center. NASA has stated that three of these planets are firmly placed within the habitable zone, which is the region around the parent star in which it is most likely that rocky planets will have liquid water on their surfaces. There is a possibility of liquid water existing on the surface of each of the seven planets that are around 235 trillion miles away from our home planet. A more in-depth investigation into the seven planets revealed that some of them might be home to significantly more water than the oceans on Earth. This water might exist in the form of water vapor in the atmosphere of the planets that are the closest to their star, liquid water on other planets, or frozen water on the planets that are the most distant from their star. Further research in 2021 indicated that the planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system are likely comprised of similar things, but that they are distinct from Earth. It is possible that this indicates that all of them have roughly the same proportions of the elements that are assumed to comprise the majority of rocky planets, such as iron, oxygen, magnesium, and silicon. The discovery of one of the most peculiar planetary systems ever identified beyond our Sun was made possible by scientists making use of telescopes, both on Earth and in space. This led to the intriguing question of whether or not any of these worlds may serve as a suitable habitat for life. The planets continue to be mysterious even after a period of five years. Following the first release, additional research has shown that the planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system are composed of rocky material, that they could be just twice as old as our solar system, and that they are situated 41 light-years away from the planet Earth. But the James Webb Space Telescope, which was just put into orbit, is going to be a major game-changer. Webb will be the largest and most powerful space telescope ever built, and it will search for indications that the planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system have atmospheres. What will James Webb Telescope look for? Those folks are even able to ask the question of whether a planet surrounding another star is livable. That just boggles my mind," said Sean Carey, manager of the Exoplanet Science Institute at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California. Carey was a member of the team that used data from the Spitzer Space Telescope, which has since been decommissioned, to assist in the discovery of several of the TRAPPIST-1 planets. Webb will focus primarily on the TRAPPIST-1e planet, which is the fourth planet out from its parent star. It is smack right in the midst of what scientists refer to as the habitable zone, which is also sometimes referred to as the Goldilocks zone. This is the orbital distance from a star at which a planet receives the optimal amount of warmth to support the presence of liquid water on its surface. Even though there are a lot of planets in a close orbit around TRAPPIST-1, the red dwarf star that it orbits is not only significantly cooler than our Sun, but also much smaller than it is. In point of fact, if the entire system were transplanted into our own solar system, it would be able to fit inside the orbit of Mercury, which is our solar system's innermost planet. Its major aim is to look for potential atmospheres. The habitable zone is merely a starting point for exploration. A planet with the potential to support life must also have an atmosphere that is amenable to life, and it is likely that Webb will only have a limited indication as to whether or not an atmosphere is there when it is making its initial observations. What is at risk here is the first atmosphere characterization of a terrestrial Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone, said Michael Gillen, an astronomer at the University of Liege in Belgium and the principal author of the study that found the seven sibling planets in 2017. The Hubble Space Telescope's measurements have provided additional insights into the subject of habitability. Although Hubble does not have the capability to determine whether or not the atmospheres of the planets have the potential to support life, it did discover that at least three of the planets, D, E, and F, do not appear to have the puffy, hydrogen-dominated atmospheres of gas giants like Neptune that are found in our solar system. 
It is believed that such planets have a lower probability of sustaining life. Consequently, the atmosphere's potential to support liquid water on the surface is still a possibility, according to Nicole Lewis, a planetary scientist at Cornell University. This keeps the door open for further exploration. Let's get into further discussion on TRAPPIST-1. Lewis is a member of a scientific team that will utilize the Webb telescope, which can survey the heavens in infrared light to search for indications that the planet TRAPPIST-1e, which has a Goldilocks perch in the habitable zone, possesses an atmosphere. According to what she said, the goal is that we find carbon dioxide, a really strong feature, just at the wavelengths detectable by Webb. Once we have a better idea of where there are small things that are sticking out above the noise, we will be able to go back and look at that area with a much higher resolution. Even while the research is far from clear, it's possible that the size of the planets found in the TRAPPIST-1 system could further strengthen the case for habitability. Not just in diameter but also in mass, they are comparable to the Earth. Due to the close proximity of the planets around TRAPPIST-1, it was possible to get a better estimate of their combined mass. They are crammed so closely together that they jostle one another, which enables researchers to determine their possible mass range based on the gravitational impacts they experience. According to Lewis of Cornell University, we have acquired some extremely solid information regarding their size, both their mass and their radius. That indicates that we are aware of their respective densities. The densities point to the possibility that the planets are made up of the same kinds of elements that are present on terrestrial planets like the Earth. Scientists use computer models of hypothetical planetary atmosphere development and evolution in order to attempt to narrow down the possible composition of planetary atmospheres. According to Lewis, these models will be essential for the TRAPPIST-1 planets. The amazing part about the TRAPPIST system is that it is going to enable us to develop those models either way, she added, referring to the possibility that the planets would turn out to be little more than bare rock or that they will turn out to be potentially habitable worlds. Gillen thinks that the extent to which the TRAPPIST-1 system can be accessed is another fantastic feature of the system. He stated, I've seen TRAPPIST-1 featured in various artistic works. I've seen it in music, science fiction literature, and comic books. That is truly something that we have appreciated throughout the course of these past five years. It's almost like this system has its own life going on. And that's for today's video. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give it a like and share it with your friends and family. Let us know if you have any questions or comments in the section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. You can also watch our other videos that have been specially selected for you. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.